In the world of advanced fighter jets, two aircraft stand out for their cutting-edge technology, combat capabilities, and strategic significance. The F-35A Lightning II and the Sukhoi Su-57. These fifth-generation fighters, developed by the United States and Russia respectively, are often compared to, to their roles in modern air forces. While both aircraft are designed for stealth, speed, and precision, they represent different philosophies in military aviation. This comparison will explore their strengths, weaknesses, and the unique attributes that set them apart in the global defense landscape. The F-35 designed jointly by Lockheed Martin and Northrop Grumman has a wide range of primary roles. It excels at stealthy, all-weather strike missions, close air support, air superiority, maritime strike, reconnaissance, electronic warfare, and command and control operations. Its estimated price is roughly $80 million, with a flying cost per hour of less than $24,000 and its anticipated procurement is for 2025. On the other hand, the Sukhoi Su-57 emerges as a twin-engine stealth powerhouse, officially entering service with the Russian Aerospace in December 2020, emphasizing super maneuverability across all aircraft axes. The Su-57 boasts internal payload bays for versatile mission profiles. With its substantial internal payload capacity, the Su-57 excels in carrying large air-to-surface ordnance, further enhancing its multi-role versatility on the battlefield. Here is the comparison between two aircraft. The F-35A measures 51.4 feet 15.7 meters in length, while the Su-57 is longer at 65 feet, 20.1 meters. The F-35 stands 14.4 feet, 4.4 meters in height, whereas the Su-57 is slightly taller, at 15 feet, 4.6 meters. The F-35 features a wing area of 460 square feet, 43 square meters, while the Su-57 has a larger wing area of 848 square feet, 78.8 square meters. The F-35 has an empty weight of 29,300 pounds, 13,290 kilograms, whereas the Su-57 has higher empty weight, which is 39,683 pounds, 18,000 kilograms. The F-35 is powered by a single Pratt & Whitney F-135PW 100 turbofan engine, producing 125 kilonewton of thrust. In contrast, the Su-57 is equipped with two Saturn AL41F1 turbofans engine, producing 88.3 kN of thrust. The F-35 has a maximum speed of Mach 1.6 at high altitude, while the Su-57 boasts a higher maximum speed, which is Mach 2. The F-35 operates at a service ceiling of 50,000 feet, 15,000 meters, while the Su-57 can reach a higher service ceiling of 66,000 feet, 20,000 meters. F-35 has a range of approximately 1,500 nautical miles 2,800 kilometers, while the Su-57 has slightly higher range, which is 1,900 nautical miles, 
3,500 kilometers. The F-35 design is robust. In contrast to its 8,000-hour design life, its service life has been evaluated to reach 24,000 hours. The F-35 has an extremely low radar cross-section at 3.8 millimeters, which reduces its radar profile. It can transport a range of US and NATO air-to-air -air and ground weaponry with an internal weight capacity of 5,700 pounds in stealth mode and 22,000 pounds in exterior beast mode, including a 25 millimeters cannon. Whereas SU-57 is built for durability with a design life of around 30 years and an expected service life of over 6,000 flight hours. It features advanced stealth technology for a low radar cross-section, enhancing survivability in contested areas. The aircraft can carry various munitions with an internal payload capacity of approximately 7,500 pounds in stealth mode and a maximum external load of 16,500 pounds, making it versatile for diverse combat scenarios. Multiple software and processor updates have been made to the F-35A. Progress includes improved weapon, capability, and electronic warfare systems. The current version, known as Block 3F Baseline, is moving towards Block 4. With software and weapon improvements planned twice yearly in 2024. The SU-57 uses an IUS to control its onboard systems, allowing it to use beaming tactics while guiding its own missiles. While there are doubts about the SU-57 stealth, it's important to remember that stealth involves more than just radar cross-section or infrared signature. Effectively utilizing the aircraft's strengths is crucial. Although the SU-57 isn't designed as a stealth fighter. Like the F-22, its radar visibility may increase its vulnerability to threats. Thanks for watching. Please share your thoughts about both fighters in the comments section.